Hey, it's Jamie from Gilbert Farm, and we have a little bit of a lice problem with our goaties. So we got our goats probably about three months ago, and when we first got them, we noticed that the baby, who has a little bit longer hair than the older doe, um, kept scratching and rubbing up against the fence and you know was using her hoof like a dog does to scratch herself. And after closer inspection, we noticed that she was infested with lice, lots of lice. So what we did was, is I made up uh, a lice powder, which I have here, and it's about a three quarter cup of DE, uh, which is diatomaceous earth. Uh, it's about uh, 0.15 cups of sulfur powder, which is this stuff here. And then some tea tree oil and some peppermint oil. Now lice don't like any of those things. Uh, the DE um, is sort of an abrasive to lice and any soft bodied animals that'll supposedly cut them up. Um, the sulfur powder, peppermint oil, and the tea tree oil are all deterrents for lice. So we started applying this um, every couple days uh, to the, the baby, which her name is Azriel. And we noticed that the lice were decreasing and decreasing, but she still has them now three months later. Now, the reason for that is because the life cycle of, of a lice in goats uh, is that they hatch out about every three to 10 days. So she was completely infested. We killed off all the adults, but there were tons of eggs in her hair. And so like three, four, five days later, a couple more hatched out and we did it again. She still had enough, enough lived, enough adults lived to lay more eggs and so on and so forth. The numbers are decreasing, but she still has lice. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to uh, trim her hair. And we're gonna use an electric trimmer with a number 10 blade on it. This is gonna cut her close, but not too close. Um, and hopefully it will cut off most of those lice. And then we're also gonna sprinkle her down with this. And we're gonna probably add a little bit uh, sulfur powder to her diet. And so that's gonna attack it from all ends. You got the sulfur in her system that's chasing away the lice. We have the powder that's killing off any of the adults. And then we're just gonna shave off those eggs, anything that we can. Now, I don't know how this is gonna go, guys, to be perfectly honest. Uh, she's probably not gonna like being restrained. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And for you guys who are interested in doing something like this, keep in mind that um, our goats are kept into a, in a very shaded area. There's some concern that uh, shaving your goats might cause sunburn. So you might wanna keep that in mind if this is something that you guys decide to do. All right, so we're gonna go grab Azriel. We're gonna lock her into the milking stand, put a little food in there to uh, entice her to stay a little bit with us. And we're gonna see how this goes. to sell the uh, clippers are dead I need to charge those right before doing anything like this they were charged fully and but then they sat for probably about a month definitely charge your your cordless uh, razor before you uh, go to shave your goat well now we're gonna apply the DE and the sulfur powder so uh, if you guys are using DE as you know if you breathe it in it can cause breathing problems can uh, inflammation so just make sure you don't breathe it in or just be very careful when applying it
if you can see this, but I'm rubbing it in really good backwards under her hair to kind of get make contact with any lice that are in there. We got quite a bit of hair off, but I could have gotten a lot more. has quite a bit of hair. She's about as long as, as Evie's right now. Um, I wish I would have been able to trim her up just a little bit more on the sides, but you get what you get and you don't make a fit. Um, I did rub in the, the DE and the sulfur pretty well. Now that's going to cause her skin to dry out quite a bit, um, but it'll clear up. Uh, right now my main concern is, is getting all the eggs and the lice off of her, so she's much more comfortable. Um, and I think this possibly ought to do the trick. Like I said, the eggs were kind of hatching and we were just trying to stay ahead of it and they kept reducing and reducing and reducing, but um, I think this might this might be the final trick. We'll probably put on another dose of the DE mixture in about another three days or so and see how that is. Now when we first brought them back with lice, I did treat both goats, um, even though I didn't really see any lice on Evie, um, but I've only been treating Asriel going forward because I, I don't see any reason to keep treating Evie when uh, she doesn't have a lice problem. It's really this one. All right, so today's day two after shaving and doing the lice treatment on Asriel. We're gonna go take a look at her and see how she's doing. All right, so she's scratching, so they're still there. Let's take a look. Really? Someone wants attention? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get spiked in the face. I do see, I saw one, and it was an adult, and there's another one right there. So we still have lice, but we're going to give her another treatment of the powder, and uh, we're just going to keep doing that until we get rid of all these lice. Oh baby, you don't like it, do you? Alright guys, so day three of Asriel's lace eradication. Alaria and I attempted to get Asriel uh, back up in the milking stand and, stand and uh, shave her again. We fully charged this, um, what is this, a wall uh, pet shaver thingy and yeah, it didn't hold a charge for like more than two minutes. Um, I would not, at this particular time, I would not recommend this particular razor. So we're gonna go in and check on Asriel and see what her lice are doing today, see if we got off a lot of the eggs and see if we can find any adults in there still. Come with me. Oh, there's one. All right, so there's a lice still. I don't know if you guys can catch that on camera. Oh. So we still have a little bit of a lousy problem. We're gonna keep putting on um, the sulfur and the DE and uh, giving her a little bit of extra sulfur in her feed and we'll see if that keeps working. I would love to know what you guys do for lice. Now, again, I've only had goats for a couple months now. Um, I'm only going by what I've read that other people do as far as natural methods of getting rid of lice, which is uh, shaving, removing the, uh, the um, eggs and putting on sulfur and giving sulfur and using DE and peppermint oil and tea tree oil. I'd love to know what you guys use. What has worked for you guys in the past? If you guys have goats, leave your comments down below. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, hit the bell, like and subscribe. That's what keeps us posting videos every single week, guys. We appreciate your support. We'll see you guys in the next video. Are you reading my shirt? <laughs> mm.